Hi guys and welcome to Bunnies in the Book, our family kitchen. And today we're going to be making a huge cake, but it's going to be really yummy and really, really good. Today's a Saturday and the Saturdays in our house is depend. So it can either be really busy with my brother having a cricket match, or it can be really chilled and laid back. And today we're very fortunate to have a chilled and laid back Saturday. The weather's really nice. And my grand from Benoni is also staying over. So I thought I would make a quick cake that everyone can enjoy. For this cake, I've already got all my dry ingredients in my bowl. You're gonna be needing five or four cups of flour, one cup of mazina, six teaspoons of baking powder, and one and a half cups of sugar. And then you're also gonna be needing milk, water, oil. I've got six egg yolks in here, and then I've just got the white to whisk up lightly. And then the glaze is icing sugar, cinnamon, and sugar. And then over here, I've got a cup of orange juice. As you can see, we've got a mixture of both normal oranges and blood oranges. My favorite are the blood oranges, but in the pack that we bought, we got both. Um, this looks quite old because it is. You could use an electronic juicer, but my mom likes to do it at home by herself with this ancient juicer. I'm also going to be using some orange rind in my cake as well. So let's get started. I'm going to be adding in my milk. Some people use just milk, some people use milk and water, some people just use water. I'm using a combination of both. So I'm going to be putting in my milk um, and my water and my oil. When I make this cake, I like to do it um, wet ingredients first, then dry ingredients. But my mom normally does dry ingredients and then wet ingredients. So because it's her, oh, so because it's her um, dish or her cake, I'm gonna be doing it her way. So I'm just mixing this together before I add in my eggs, just because I don't like the consistency of when you add in eggs like that. So just combine this. Roughly, and try not to make a mess like I have. I'm also not adding vanilla extract into um, my cake, but you can just because I want the orange to be a big component of it. So now I'm going to add in my eggs. The reason I separated them is because if you whisk this up, you get more air into your cake and it rises better. So I'm just gonna combine my egg in. Um, if you find that your cake is too stiff, you might wanna add in some more um, liquid. I think mine should be fine. Um, this cake can be made with granadella, with orange, with whatever you want it to be made with. Um, it's a nice base to have and then you can add other stuff in. I'm then gonna grate in some orange zest this is optional if you don't want to do that you don't have to either it just i find gives it a better taste and it really brings out that orange flavor um, so now that you've done that you want to just combine that in and then you want to put in your egg whites so you want to just do this slowly it doesn't have to be stiff peaks just soft peaks are okay, but you want to do it like in small amounts. So just combine it first. And then add in the rest. And I've already got my baking sheet but I've just done that with um, butter and some flour. Like I said before, if you think that this is a lot of mixture, it is quite a big cake, but it's very versatile. You could have it for tea, you could have it for a birthday cake and just ice it. So I really do enjoy making this cake. Uh, it looks like everything's just about combined. You just want to scrape down the sides and make sure that all the mixture is combined together. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this and put it into my baking sheet. Um, 
So it is quite big. You want to put it in a preheated oven of 180 degrees, um, depending on your oven. Now that I've got my cake in my tray, I just wanted to point out, in the beginning of the episode, I said that you could use four to five cups of flour. I've only used four, but you could put the fifth cup in if you think that your cake is too watery. I'm gonna be putting this into the oven and then I'm gonna start on my glaze. For the glaze, I've just got a pan heating over here and I've got my one cup of orange juice that I'm gonna pour in. I'm just going to move it from the heat. Okay, so now that our orange juice is heated up, I'm going to be putting one cup of brown sugar in. If you have white sugar, you can use that at home. And then I've got one cinnamon stick that I've just broken up, but you could put the whole thing in. This um, syrup is going to be combined into the cake, so I'm going to let it seep in. I actually haven't seen this recipe done anywhere else. It's something that we eat very often, and everyone seems to like it, so it's an original original recipe. Um, so you just want to stir this until the sugar is melted and combined and then it should be done. I've just strained the glaze so that the orange bits and the cinnamon that I've put in just don't come into this. You can then just throw this away, there's no use for it. I'm going to take the cake out of the oven, show you how to make this glaze, and then we can have this cake. Hi guys, welcome back. So it's been 35 to 40 minutes. My cake is done. I've also just strained my syrup, so that's ready to pour in. Then we will get the cake ready quickly. The cake looks really good. It's got this outer crunchy layer. I'm just going to stab a few holes in it because my mom does it and it helps the um, syrup seep in and make it like really yummy. I can also hear that the house is starting to wake up and that people are coming back from their morning routines and what they've been doing. So I'm excited to have this cake with some tea and we can chat about what we want to do this weekend. Okay, so I think that's enough holes. You just want to do enough that when you pour the syrup in, it will seep into the cake. And you also want to do this while your cake is warm. Okay. So I'm just going to pour my syrup in all over. And just let it seep in. Like I've said, I haven't seen anybody do this cake before. But my mom also has done this with granadilla. So the syrup just makes it that extra bit special. So now that that's just seeping into the cake, I'm going to make the glaze really quickly. I'm just going to get another bowl. This is a very cute little green bowl. I've also, I'm just using the orange that I used for the zest. I'm going to be pouring this icing sugar into here. Just try not to make a huge mess. And you want to just juice the orange into it until, until it becomes a little bit liquidy. And then you can see how much you want to put in. This orange is also quite juicy, so maybe just half. If we need the whole thing, we can. I like making a glaze. My mom prefers doing a syrup. So I think this cake is good because it's a combination of both of us. Um, and then just the other half. Okay, so I think our glaze is done. It's a little bit thicker, but the cake is also quite warm. And I'm just going to pour this over the cake. And then just using my spatula, I'm just going to push it all over the cake. And you want to just try and make it so that it like, will drip onto the sides as well. Just that homemade rustic look.
<laughs> and that's our glaze. So I've just cleaned out my working space. I've got a new orange with me and some mint from our garden. They're still a little bit small, but it will do the good trick. I'm going to grate some of this orange zest onto the cake just to give it that extra bit when it comes to the look. And it will also add to the flavor because when you're, ze when you're zesting an orange, the like oils like squirt out of it and then they go onto the cake, which is also really good. Okay. So that's our zest. And then I'm just going to be putting on a few mint leaves onto the cake. And this is just for garnish because I think it looks quite nice. And it reminds me of like a garden and like summer, even though we're in winter. Okay, and now I'm just going to cut my cake. This, like I said, is a kilo cake and so many people can eat from it. And I've seen so many people like have great conversations over a piece of cake and tea and that always warms my heart so my piece of cake and then just my fork it tastes really good i think my mom would be proud i hope my mom would be proud i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and share it with your friends all the links will be down below as usual. Send us a picture of the cake that you make. And if you do change it, tell us using the hashtag bunnies in the book. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.